Welcome to your meeting minute for the Exeter Select Board's May 28th meeting. The board returned to the discussion from the last meeting about the conflict in Gaza. Dr. Karishma Manzur spoke on behalf of the many concerned citizens who were present. We did submit a resolution last two weeks ago, and it was thank you very much for taking the time to consider it. We have now revised it as a proclamation. Hopefully that will answer some of the questions that two of the board members had. The Select Board of Exeter recognizes that all human life is precious, and all people have a right to live with dignity, feel safe, and be respected, regardless of nationality, race, or religion. There is no justification for stopping food and water to Gaza. No justification to starving two million people. After <clears throat> a very thorough conversation amongst board members, um, I think all of whom agreed uh, not only with um, what was submitted before us, but certainly uh, the testimony that we heard from, from everybody that came up uh, was incredibly moving. I think the conversation towards the end of the deliberation was whether or not this is a select board, um, whether this is within the purview of the select board, because typically, I think as Selectman Chartrand so astutely commented that typically this is done in a citizen's petition that goes on the warrant um, for voters to take up. When it comes to um, mentions of um, how money is spent and how it's taxed and levied, I really feel that is the voters' purview, and I don't think the board can make comments on that. Um, and then I did uh, revise the now, therefore, we to bring it back just to the board and not to involve any other public servants. Um, I felt very strongly that we're speaking for ourselves and urging uh, the world and not particular individuals. I don't remember us doing something for other wars that have escalated that we all feel very strongly about, or at least I know I do. Um, I, I just struggle with this. I, it's not that I disagree with this. It's personally, as a select board member, is where I struggle. It is our jobs as human beings to stand together and speak up. We are coming to you, our representatives of the town of Ex Exeter, asking you to help our voices be heard, to stand on the side of humanity, Throughout history, it is the silence of leaders that has made violent acts possible, and it is the silence that allows them to continue. You know, we are all responsible for our own traumas and our own beliefs and to take care of those. However, I don't think this is a decision for you to make. I just don't think it's yours. You might say, oh, this doesn't affect us. This isn't an American issue. This isn't a town issue. But it sets a precedent if we say, no, we were complicit. We allowed our money to be spent on weapons that hurt people. We allowed our government to be complicit in a genocide. The board decided to table the decision to their next meeting to allow select woman Molly Cowan to be able to participate in the vote and discussion. Jake San Antonio from engineering firm VHB presented the feasibility study data on Pickpocket Dam. All possibilities for addressing the dam's letter of deficiency were presented to the board. The public was invited to speak on the topic. I spent a lot of time on the river as a young child and, and as an adult. I used the river. I've used it for decades. My, my children have also used it. So I know how beautiful it is. I also know what a valuable asset that is. How long will it take for the sediment to sort of settle and either wash downstream? I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Sure. But I'm, hoping I'm, I'm hoping you're understanding what I'm yeah, saying. I mean, how long does it take to flush the thing out is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> what, what would you guess? Five to ten years to okay. re reach a new equilibrium. Okay, and how would, in the, in, within the first five years, how would it affect life in the river? with that sediment suddenly starting to come down. I know you're gonna remove some when, if you take the dam out, a lot but, of the but how does it affect the life in the river? It's actually healthy for the river. Oh, okay. Sediment starved rivers are, are not as healthy. Okay. And it's part of the reasons why that lower reach is impaired. I mean, I think the Great Dam is a great example, right? That was removed in 2016. Yeah. So it's been eight years since that's been removed. Okay. You know, the wetlands upstream, the river has recovered. Um, you know, those wetland areas did take a few years of transition, but, I, I, you know, they're more diverse and lush than they were um, prior to the dam being removed. I'm here today to lend a voice to those who cannot be here, 
257 people to be exact as of this morning. I have a petition on change.org to save the dam. The people who signed it are supporting keeping the dam where it is. My opinion is 257 people who signed this petition should be considered. The board tabled their decision to a later meeting. To watch the full meeting, visit our Exeter TV YouTube page. The next select board meeting is slated for June 10th. See you there.